Good afternoon, friends, and welcome back to my kitchen. So I have my mom here today helping me cook, and we are going to be using one of the recipes that I told you we'd be doing. Uh, this is February, and we're going to be making egg rolls. It says egg roll bowl, but I actually have the egg rolled wonton, so we're going to do some egg rolls with some sweet and sour sauce. So come on along while we get this going. All right, friends, we're going to get all our ingredients together. First, we're going to start off with our sweet and sour sauce so we can get that cooking and then it can rest while we cook our egg rolls. First thing you're going to need is three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of ketchup, three-fourths of a cup of rice wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar works as a replacement, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one cup of pineapple juice. We're going to go ahead and get this on the stove and mix together. Once it comes to a boil, we'll turn it off and we'll add our cornstarch to the mix. All right, friends, so now for our egg roll filling, we need one pound of breakfast sausage or any kind of sausage that you have. You need a package of cabbage and carrot slaw. You need a package of egg roll wontons, a half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of ginger, and a half a tablespoon of pepper. And we're gonna add that to our pork and we're gonna get that on the stove and start cooking this. You do not cook the cabbage, so leave that out. All right, so our mixture is boiling. You're gonna turn off the heat and add your cornstarch slurry and that is two tablespoons of water to one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and that's to thicken it. All right, friends, so now that our meat is cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add the cabbage and just to wilt it a little bit, not fully cook it. I like to have it be a little bit more uh, crunchy than soft. All right, friends, so our mixture is all done. Now it's time to assemble our egg rolls. So you're gonna go ahead and take one of the egg rolls and you're gonna do it at an angle. Take a couple scoops of your filling, fold them over and then wrap them up. Once you get to this point, you're gonna get some water and you're gonna put it around the edges to help seal it, and there you go. If you like sesame seed, you're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the sesame seed on top of it before you roll it up. All right, friends, so I have my pot heating up on the stove. I'm gonna add some all, uh, vegetable oil to it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fry these up until they're golden brown and put them on a paper towel. I'm gonna put it on a paper towel to soak up all the oil and then we'll be eating. All right, friends, now our pan is nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and start adding our egg rolls. Make sure you do seam side down so they don't open up on you and only put a few in the pan at a time so you don't overcrowd it and it, the oil drops in temperature. Make sure you don't walk away from this. It's only gonna take a matter of seconds for it to start browning and you wanna make sure you're turning it as you go before they burn. All right, friends, and there we have our egg rolls are all done and so is our sauce. It has sat and cooled and now we can go ahead and enjoy our egg rolls. Yep. So let me go ahead and cut it up so you can see what it looks like. And as you can see, everything is perfectly cooked on the inside. Your cabbage has wilted down a little bit and you can enjoy. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.